It's time once again for The Show Me Show. And here is your host, Noel McNeil. Hi. So, I am here to answer another one of your questions. The basic one that a lot of you have asked and a lot of you have wondered is, Noel, how did you become a puppeteer? That is a very good question. The word puppeteer is a weird word. I will be the first one to admit it. Puppeteer. But when I was a kid, there were a lot more puppet shows on for me to enjoy, like Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Rogers, and a female puppeteer named Sherry Lewis, who's a very special kind of puppeteer. She is a ventriloquist, and her puppet was called Lamb Chop. And of course, there was Paul Winchell, who is another ventriloquist. He had a show called Winchell Mahoney Time. By the way, Paul Winchell was not only the original voice of Tigger, but he invented the artificial heart. So puppetry can save lives. Then one night, on a Sunday night, when I was about seven years old, there was this really cool show that was hosted by two puppets. One was the head of like a banana, the other had the head like a football, and the names were Ernie and Bert. And they were talking about a brand new show that was coming on the next day, called Sesame Street. Maybe you've heard of it. After seeing that, and especially seeing Big Bird, I knew I wanted to be a puppeteer. I followed Jim Henson's career all through the 70s, from, you know, guest spots on Ed Sullivan, to the Great Santa Claus Switch, to Hey Cinderella, and then The Muppet Show during my high school years. That sealed the deal. If this guy Jim Henson could do it, well, maybe I could do it too. So I decided to do research in how I could somehow be a puppeteer in college. I had my research ready. Now, my mom was a single mom. Her husband walked out on us when I was 18 months old, and she was taking care of me and her mom and her uncle. And she was putting me through private schools, so she took out a second job. So this was a woman who was working seven days a week and taking care of three people. And her son's about to say, okay, mom, I know what I want to be, a puppeteer. I braced myself, and she looked at me and said, okay, what do we have to do? Oh, okay, well, we've got this school in Connecticut and this school in Brooklyn. Okay, what do we have to do? Oh, well, we have to fill out this, and we have to fill out this. Okay, what do we have to do? That's all she kept saying. She never belittled it, she never dismissed it, because she always told me, no, don't get a job, get a career. And so I ended up going to Pratt Institute, where I became a theater major. And within the theater department was a puppetry course taught by Kermit Love, the designer and builder of Big Bird and Snuffy. And no, the frog was not named after him. It's just a weird coincidence. So then, after that, he offered me a job on Sesame Street as his assistant, which is also known as the Wrangler, the person who takes care of the puppets. And then I transitioned to background characters like Third Grouch from the left and Second Chicken from the right. And from there, I went on to other shows and commercials and movies and live theater until finally I ended up here on the internet with The Show Me Show. So. That's how I became a puppeteer. And this way I get to still share it and have fun with you. Thanks for watching, and as always, support us, and on with the show. Want to be part of the show? Support us at www.patreon.com/slash the show me show.